morning everyone. I bet you are sick of the sight of this room and you just want us to be in the house as well. Well, so do we. <laughs> but um, as you can probably hear, it's very empty in here. There's a massive echo because everything that is left in here is staying and all of our stuff and clutter and stuff like that has gone. We are in the process of moving out of this house and um, Ali and his best friend Matt have been working on the house all morning. I think we're about an hour and a half from completion and I've already had loads of people phoning me saying that we're dropping off your orders and your bed and your mattress and all of that stuff. So yeah, it's um, been quite a hectic morning. We've got the cleaners in, they're cleaning the house from top to bottom because um, we wanted it to be nice when the person moved in. Hopefully it's nice. The cats are currently, bless them, in the kitchen, probably slightly bewildered and disorientated. We've got a drill going downstairs that is taking the mirror down and the boys have been packing up the van all day which um it bless them even i think we all underestimated how much stuff we've actually got um we ended up getting a bigger van from enterprise and because they didn't have the smaller van available and thank god we got the bigger van um, because we needed it we've also got to do a tip run i've got to get rid of this chair there's loads of stuff to go to the tip um, and that's got to be done with the boys. My car is loaded up with all of the new bedding that I got from Dunelm. I've also got more stuff coming this evening from Dunelm because they didn't have some stuff in store so they helped me locate all of the stuff that we needed. Soon my friends are going to be coming over. They're going to help with all of like the unboxing and stuff like that, bless them. Carrie's picking up some rails for the for, for my dressing room because obviously there's like nothing in there to put my clothes in. It's not, it was a bedroom before. And I haven't really slept that great last night I've tried to make myself look as presentable as possible um, I washed my hair this morning as well and I didn't pack any hairspray so I've got these little antenna that keeps sticking out doing my head in but this is such an exciting day it is honestly I can't believe that it's actually here we're moving in to our dream house this is just unbelievable the only thing I'm worried about though is when we've moved all of our stuff in our house like everything out we realized how like it needed new paint and it needed like just some TLC, there's like a squashed um, daddy long legs that I'm gonna have to clean off the wall there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping that it's not as dreary as we feel like we're leaving this place. I hope that, I mean, this room got used so much. So yeah, I hope it's not too bad for her. But yeah, no, so it's gonna be interesting going into the house with all of the furniture. Well, actually there's a lot of the furniture that's, that's staying. So yeah, I don't know why I'm worrying so much, but it's just like pictures on the wall and stuff. You know, you get like that mark around it. Today is obviously super hectic and Ali is going away tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna kind of be left to deal with everything tomorrow. But luckily I've got amazing friends who are helping me out with the whole thing. Hopefully we're gonna get to do some shopping tomorrow as well because we need to get like new bins and lots of new utensils. We need new um, knives and pans and all of that stuff. So it's almost like we're getting our first house again because that's what we had to do when we were here. We also need a new TV. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have like a, a bigger screen TV. That would be so nice. But more importantly, I'm excited for my coffee. Um, but I'm gonna get cracking and help everyone out. I'm kind of running on empty at the moment because I'm just so tired but so excited at the same time. So it's like adrenaline that's keeping me going. Also, oh my God, I didn't tell you. Um, literally like four days ago we received um an email from the estate agent that we almost bought the first house off of and they basically let us know that the sellers were sorry and they were going through a rough time and um they will be relisting the property and we were just like wow oh my gosh um but obviously we feel like this house is much better suited to us um, it's a completely different house like the old the house that we first offered on was like a period property with like exposed um, old brick walls and real fireplaces and um, lots of work that needed doing to it whereas the house that we've bought is not that and um, doesn't need so much work other than putting in a fireplace yeah it's kind of a bit like oh god I don't know how to feel about this like we were so hurt and angry at the time about how everything happened but now obviously knowing that like they were going through a rough time and just um, yeah it's just it was just a very weird feeling but obviously we had already exchanged on this house and we we just feel like this is much better suited to us so yeah anyway enough of me jabbering on i am going to get cracking and hopefully when um well soon in this vlog you will be coming to the new house with us so
house is almost empty. I'm just taking Lynx up his food. I had to separate the cats, bless them. They're just a little bit um, unsettled, which is understandable. Yeah, let's move that mirror. Here you go, Poppet. Here. Here you go. You got your foodie. It's up here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Lummy is downstairs in the kitchen. Um, so I thought I'd give you a quick run around the house. I mean, it's not quite empty yet. There's still like this stuff, which is gonna go in mine and Carrie's cars. Carrie is on her way over to load up her car. The boy, boys are taking the van to the tip. Um, and there's just, just, I mean, this is our bedroom. Look, our little bedroom is, it's all empty, you can see where the bed was. I'm like, why did we ever walk on the carpet? Look how amazing it was. So annoying, and then this is my wardrobe, all empty. Um, I'm gonna take those boxes, but everything else is staying. Um, yeah, so you can see what the room was decorated, like it had like Artex ceilings, and like magnolia walls. So yeah, it was uh, very different to what it is now. And um, I've got my wedding dress stuff hanging up here for us to take. Having a bit of a nightmare at the moment though because we're getting like deliveries to the house. We were supposed to get the keys last night. It's what we, well, it's what we were like told and um, didn't get the keys last night. Didn't get them this morning. And now um, we've got like couriers trying to drop off furniture and stuff and it's just, yeah, it's um, not going well unfortunately because there's no one there to unload it and we said that there would be people there which there was supposed to be people there. Hello? Right. Okay. Okay. Is Ben there with the keys? Okay, so who's at the house? Okay, change of plan. Um, we now can go over to the house randomly, so I'm not going to give you an empty house tour just yet. Um, I'm gonna just bring Carrie up to speed and then I'm gonna head over there and um, unpack the first load of stuff. So we've been to, oh my God, look at my hair. These, I need to find some hairspray. We've been to the house already. Um, the boys are unloading the lorry. Carrie is here now and Carrie's already had one injury. How's your head, Carrie? I'm definitely gonna have a black eye to go with my black toe. Yeah. I walked mean, into the new front door, like I was trying to be helpful yeah. and I put stuff in and then I turned around and I was like Ma! That was all I heard. Ma! And then I went a bit dizzy, saw yeah. butterflies. But we're all good. <laughs> Yeah, so we're like in the house now. There's only we're just picking up the last bits. The cats are staying here until everything's in. Um, it was so funny. We came in the door, and Lynx's basket is there, and he was literally inside, ready to go. He was like, "Okay, I'm in here. Let's go now. I'm ready to go." But I thought I'd show you the house quickly, um, in its current state. Sofas are um, sorted. We've also put the sofa covers through the wash because obviously if you have an unwell cat it has to go through the wash. We're leaving all of this stuff here, curtains are staying, um, we just got some last minute bits to go in the understairs cupboard, it's all kind of like this, very empty. Carrie is in the kitchen, these are just some bits to go in the bin, we've got the last one. I appreciate rub how much corn you have. I know, it's Ali, Ali doesn't check. Every time you go yeah, to the Yeah, he, he just buys the same stuff. Look, you literally have a whole bag of corn. Yeah, take the ice out of it, we'll take the um, actual container thing. Carrie is packing up our fridge. Um, Lynx is down here, we've separated them, so he's got downstairs. Let's go find Lummy. Um, oh, no, you're in here. Now we're in the hallway. Hello, Bobbit. You're very unsettled, aren't you? You think that we've left you, you silly puppy. Um, So the mirror has obviously gone from here and everything has gone from here. I go up the stairs and we've got, <laughs> this one's coming with us. Completely empty bathroom, nothing much to see here except Lummy Bear. Then we go into the bedroom, which is all like so, I think I showed you this before actually. And then we're going into here. And this is the kind of last of my stuff that I need to take. 
but pretty much everything else is staying. So, it's you! You're looking at your selfie! So that is the empty house tour of our old house. And um, now we're just literally gonna load up the last few bits and head back over. Um, but the cats are gonna stay here. I think we'll come and get the cats later because the person isn't actually moving. Ooh, I'm bright. Uh, the person isn't actually moving in today. So um, yeah, we're gonna start packing things up and um, gonna get a Starbucks as well, get some food because I haven't actually eaten today. I think I was too excited this morning, but now that we're actually in the house, it's actually amazing. Um, but now that we're actually in the house, we um, can get some food because I can feel, I feel like I can actually like have some food now, which is good. So we are at the house and it's all happening in here. We've got, oh, shoes off. There are no shoes in the new house. <laughs> so the boys are in here. Building beds. Building the bed. How do you feel to uh, have built our bed? It's looking pretty nice, isn't it? Do you feel closer to us now? Yeah. <laughs> I like to imagine what's going to go down. <laughs> lots and lots of Netflix. <laughs> we can put a TV up as well. Yes, yeah, we can put on. Should we just put our TV up there for now? Just for now, yeah. Um, that We're not keeping the wallpaper in here and we're not keeping the curtains as well. This is what I meant about the um, windows that go around the, the corner, so we need to get special curtains made. How do you feel to finally be in? Very happy. Are you tired? Yeah, shattered. You've worked really hard today. We've got these two little munchkins in here. Unwrapping kitchenware. Unwrapping. <laughs> Out of Manolo Blahnik's shoe bag. <laughs> that is, do you know what, that wasn't even me, that's Ali that's packed that because we ran out of bubble wrap. Sergio Rossi. Yeah, I got <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> I found the avocado bowl. <laughs> is that what they are? Bowls. My world has been rocked. I don't even know where they came from, yeah, to be I'm honest. Those, you know, <laughs> Watch me just follow every move. Touch me. Let me know you want it to. Don't tell what you need. bed is up and ready this bed is from pip and co interiors and we got the ottoman to match they actually have two different styles of ottoman for this but we went for the closed one so that we can put cushions in it we also got our mattress on my dad's recommendation my dad has a simba mattress and he was like this is the one that you need so um we got a super king simba mattress and it feels oh my gosh it feels amazing. Oh my god. I've never had a Super King bed, so this is very exciting for me. But yeah, really happy with how it's looking. Obviously, we're not going to have it decorated like this. Um, it's going to be slightly different, but we've got to get that sorted first. Um, but I'm going to dress the bed now, so cue the time lapse. Slight change of plan. The cats are coming, so I'm gonna get the room that's gonna be for them for the moment ready. So I'll take you downstairs and we'll finish this off in a minute. I actually look like a crazy lady. <laughs> so I've just been down in the basement and I set up this room for the cats. Um, I've kept it dark down this end. Sorry, it's a bit echoey in here. And then light down this end so that it's not like too bright for them because it is actually really bright in here. We put some boxes in here and all of their toys are out ready to, um, for them to play with, a little tunnel, and we've put Lumi's bed up here. Obviously, if there's a little too much um, arguing, we will separate them and put them in different rooms, but for now, um, we're gonna keep them in here to, to settle them. We're gonna put their beds in, make it nice and warm. Look at the state of me. Oh my God, look at our new light. 
it is so much bigger than I thought it was, but I love it. I literally love it. This is in the hallway. Oh my God, I love it. We just ordered pizza, Carrie and I. The boys had rice and chicken or something, but we just went for pizza because we love gluten-free pizza. Um, the kitchen is kind of coming along as well. We also, our sofa's been delivered. Sorry, I'm getting really excited. So this is the sofa that I was talking about that I wanted in my kitchen area. So it sits under the chandelier and then there's gonna be a silver rug underneath and we're waiting for our coffee table to be delivered. And then there's two armchairs going here and we've got new bar stools coming as well. Carrie, mm -hmm. have you cut my pizza up for me? Yeah. You literally like my mum? Yeah. <laughs> How has your day been? I'm so tired, but it's such a great house. I'm so tired. Literally so tired. And I'm so hungry. Oh, that's another thing. We realised, because I thought that, um, oh my God, Lydia, you literally look like a crazy scientist. Um, the, we thought that Domino's didn't deliver to us, but it does. Living our best life. We are very, very happy about this. That's all you need. Very happy. I have like candles burning everywhere at the moment because we want it to like smell like our home. So we're like, burn everything. So we've got some Jo Malone candles in the kitchen and um, oh my gosh, Neom sent us like this huge box of Neom stuff and um, we've put these all in like the guest bedrooms. This one is um, one of my favorites. It's also one of Carrie's favorites. This is a scent to sleep uh, tranquility candle. I love that. So we've got that by the bed. Some of the stuff that I'm featuring in this video, I will pop in the, um, description box below so that you can shop it as well. My sofa is actually one of those sofas that you literally just buy, like you don't have to order it and have it made, which is something that I really didn't want to do because in case something happens to it because it needs to be like replaced or anything like that, I don't want to order something that's going to take forever to come because this isn't like the main sitting area. We got this from um, Lush Interiors and it's amazing. This is a three seater, it comes in two seater, but I love, love, love this. Anyway, I'm going to have some pizza now because I'm really hungry. Danny is on her third glass of champagne. And Woo! <laughs> I'm like, hey, you finished the bottle. I literally got it. She just keeps getting up and just yeah. pour it. <laughs> Uh, it, oh. And we have Doug the Pug wrapping paper. Yes, Doug wrapping paper. Ooh. Oh, it's such a tasteful. That's really nice. That's really nice. Tasteful. Congratulations. Now it's time to hire a cleaner and a maid. <laughs> Actually have somewhere that I can put cards. No, isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a couple of pictures just because I didn't know which one you wanted to put in it. Oh, you've got But I didn't know to put one in the frame. Oh. Obviously it's a frame. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a cute card. It's a bit like when you open dark presents, you're like, is it a chopping board? <laughs> It's a personalised <laughs> chopping board. Yeah. Oh, real oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's in the drawer. It's Second drawer down. Oh. Yeah, you actually yeah. didn't know what one to put in. So I thought, oh, oh my god, god. I was not my glasses. I thought it was you and her. <laughs> That we need to put pictures as well. Literally, I just saw it. I was like, oh, is there something small over there. there? I don't know which one to put. I think I might put this one in there. So. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that, but I was like, I really like that picture. Yeah. I thought I'd give you an option. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, use that one, change it over. Yeah. Yeah, I like
go this way with you Wanted me gone I don't believe in no Just last week you called me Morning everyone, it is the most gorgeous sunny day which is why I'm super overexposed on my camera but my new coffee table has arrived. It was supposed to come last night, but I think it was a little bit late. So I'm going to unbox this now and put it here. And then I'm gonna dress it up with some books and then I'm actually gonna get ready so you can stop looking at my tired um, makeup free face. Um, I need to get myself up and sorted. I'm gonna go and do some shopping today for the house because we need lots of stuff. We need like laundry bins and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a busy day today. But first of all, this is the dream. This is my marble coffee table. I've never, the only thing I've ever owned is a marble chopping board. So this is really exciting. <laughs> I see you smiling from miles away. You're the girl who makes me feel this way. Currently hanging the TV in the bedroom. This is when Ali's techers come in very, very useful. But I was definitely assisting on this job. And I think that makes all the difference. We have TV! Um, Ali's popped the TV up on, in the bedroom. Um, we still need to get a TV for um, the living room, which you haven't seen. The sun is shining today. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful in this room. We had never ever seen this room in like the sunlight before we bought, well, when we bought it, it was just gray and dark and getting like nighttime outside. And so when we came the other day, it was beautiful. But now like seeing with our like furniture in, it just looks so nice. Oh, doesn't feel real yet. I don't think it's like properly sunk in. Um, but I feel like I want to tell you more because I didn't feel like I was very like um, coherent yesterday. I was deliriously tired because I'd hardly slept and um, so knackered from all of like the running around and the moving and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't really know how this vlog is gonna turn out, but I hope that it's okay. But yeah, this sofa we got basically because um, we didn't wanna have one made because this room is so bright, the color's probably gonna get bleached and like it's in the kitchen so it may need to be like replaced. So we didn't wanna spend like a fortune on getting a really beautiful like bespoke sofa made. Um, we wanted to get something that we could kind of replace as and when we need to. This isn't intended as a lounging sofa. This is an in intended as more of a decorative sofa. Um, we have a super comfortable sofa downstairs. Um, so this is just mainly for like sitting and chatting and having like a glass of wine on. It is still very comfortable, especially with the cushions. This morning, our gorgeous coffee table from Berries and Grey arrived. We have another parcel coming from Berries and Grey on Monday, which has some flowers that they designed um, for the center aisle there. Um, we also have some new bar stools coming um, early March, I believe. Uh, they're to match this sofa as well, so that's nice. I've got my coffee table books. Finally, they have a home, which is amazing. And then we've got one of the candles from our wedding. This is one of the Jo Malone um, peony and blush suede candles. And also, oh, our friend Danny got us this um, picture frame yesterday as our um, new home present so I, you would have seen me unbox that actually and then we've just got Jo Malone candles everywhere literally I'm just like the queen of burning candles we need to get a new light for here I think I want to put three separate lights um, and then there's going to be some big flowers that go on here so this light is a lot bigger than I actually thought it was going to be but now that it's there I am utterly obsessed with this we're going to try and find a way to kind of disguise the cable a little bit. And then our bedroom furniture, um, our bed is actually from Pip and & Co and uh, this is a super king size bed. All of our bedding is from Donnell Mill and um, the ottoman is from Pip and & Co as well. And I believe that these trunks are from Habitat. So we've got, um, and these, you will remember these from our old house, so yeah, that's fine. But I'm gonna show you my outfit quickly before I drop Ali off to go to Italy. And then I'm gonna go and do some shopping um, before girls night with all of my favorite girls. So I'm showing you my outfit in my very, very messy dressing room at the moment. <laughs> You'll see how bad it is. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I've got an acne cardigan on, John Lewis cashmere roll neck, Paige denim jeans, Victoria Beckham boots, and my um, Dior 
Dior Ever bag. Very, very minimal. I'm like so out of breath, sorry. I'm just about to take Ali. So um, I am just showing this super quickly. This is the room that we actually want to sort out very quickly because, um, yeah, I need this kind of more functional than it is now. Ali's is completely sorted and mine is completely not sorted. Um, but we just checked on the cats and they're doing fine. So I'm in the car, I've just exchanged one of my rails. One of my rails was broken, so I actually only had two. And I probably needed a lot more, so I bought myself another four rails. And I got Ali another one. And actually the girl that served me in Argos um, came to my talk at the university in Northampton, which is so nice. I've driven to Northampton, by the way, because that's the only Argos that had my rails in stock. So I had to drive all the way up here. I am also in one of those weird moods today when... Do you, know, do you ever get it when you're just like... You're driving in your car and someone wants to pull out and you're like, go, go ahead, go ahead. I've, I've done that to like everyone today, but other days I'm like, nope. <laughs> Sometimes I've just literally let the whole world go and other times I'm like, absolutely not. But I'm in a good mood today, clearly. So um, I'm going to head over to TK Maxx now, see if they've got any home bits. I'm not going to Home Sense without Carrie. Um, I'm also going to go to Home Bargains and pick up some like cotton buds and things like that so that we've got those for the guest bedrooms and um, yeah, just have a look around really. So I'm just finishing off this vlog and um, I've just finished off editing it on the computer and I realised that I didn't vlog when the girls came over because I was just so excited to see them and like we just had such a lovely evening just drinking and chatting here in the kitchen that I kind of just enjoyed it so sorry about that I kind of feel like I let the, the end of this vlog kind of fall to the wayside um, I did want to show you how things are finished off now in this room um, still waiting for the armchairs and the bar stools but just wanted to give you a full rundown of where everything is from so I'm planning on doing a video with you guys to organize my wardrobe as well so that will be coming um, soon I think and I've also got just my normal vlogs resuming at home and out and about and doing bits so I just thought I would let you know about that stuff but this is how this room is currently looking this little seating area we've got some Fortnum and Mason baskets over here just sort of over there but the, the two armchairs will be going here and then this coffee table is from berries and gray and so is the christian dior book that's there and then i got the chloe one from amazon the faux hydrangeas are from home sense and then i've got a joe malone peony and blush suede candle which is from my wedding and then the tray is from laura ashley and then the sofa i've already told you about that was from um, lush interiors and then my chandelier which is up here this is from Shropshire Design. Now this was actually a flush chandelier, so it was supposed to sit, it wasn't supposed to have a drop on it, but we asked them to custom make the drop um, so that we could have it hang in these windows up here. Um, it is quite an expensive chandelier, but I really did want it to be kind of like the focal point of the room. Um, so we'd saved a little bit of our wedding money to make sure that we could get a really lovely chandelier for this room. Everything's so far in here, so I didn't want to just like sign off the vlog without any kind of explanation. It's just been a manic few days. So um, yeah, I hope that, I actually think this vlog turned out better than I thought it was. I was kind of worrying about it, but um, that's, yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm just kind of like calming down from everything now and just getting organized and getting back on track. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, I hope that you guys are happy that we're finally in this house. Um, obviously this is our second home. So we've been on the property ladder for quite a while. So um, this isn't, you know, this isn't us bragging in any way, shape or form. This is just us showing our next step um, in our life and as always this channel and my blog has always been a um, kind of like an online diary of my life you've been with me from university living in halls um, right through to what now is my second home so um, I hope that yeah everyone's I will see you in my next video which will either be on Wednesday or Thursday we're just kind of struggling with internet at the moment because our internet isn't connected so if videos are a little bit erratic over the next week or so uh, it really is just because i'm using my phone to upload things so um yeah i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye